Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ryan or Darwin Design here and welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm going to bring y'all another tutorial video. I'm going to be teaching y'all how to design like an NFL team. Um, so today I, I got a reference image from the Carolina Panthers uh, Instagram. So this is just a stat graphic I found. They made for Chuba Hubbard. Um, and I figured I'd go ahead and recreate it. And then I might ha also have the PSD in the description down below for you guys to, to play with. But um, I'm thinking about turning this into a series. I'm not too sure just like how to design like NFL teams and like recreating something and then dropping the PSD. Um, maybe, I don't know, I enjoyed recreating it. And I think you guys also like the PSD. So let me know. Maybe that's something y'all want. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and break down uh, how I went about recreating it. So they made it in a square format. I just made it in a vertical one because that's what I always work in. But uh, same thing. So y'all see this is their version and then this is my recreation. Not the exact same, but um, I wanted to put my own little twist on it and keep the same or same feel, like same vibe, but I don't know, just I thought this one looked a little bit better anyway. So uh, I'm going to break down the PSD. It's also in the description, as I said, so y'all can enjoy it, use it yourselves. Um, so I always start off with the hex colors so I can pull if I need to. Um, so these I just get on Google and then I, you could right click on here and then solid color. And then you can pick it and then you can double click it and like control C, whatever. Um, so you can use it as a reference. Um, so yeah, uh, the text is really simple. Uh, this is literally just straight black text. Uh, Tusker Grotesque is the font I used. And it just says cam. The subtext is just a rectangle. Uh, and then also more, this is Gotham. Cause I just try to use similar uh, text as to what they were using. Um, but I mean, not too much to explain there. This is also a rectangle and then just some simple text. This was for the autograph kind of signature. I use Jupiter's brush. Uh, and then this is Gotham again as well. And to create those rectangles, all I did was get the rectangle tool and drag it out. And I just got rid of the stroke and then you could make it white and that's it. So really simple. Uh, so next up is a chalk accents or just what I refer to as these like the little chalk kind of drawing marks um so these are cool little addition i know I, I enjoy them i put so the three lines are out of his mouth uh to kind of indicate he's screaming whatever um and these are, are pulled from a pack so i mean i don't have any more in here but there are what there are so i have the stars here um and then the number one i believe is also yeah a super brush as well which is the same one as the signature so uh, that's that. Not too much to explain. Um, the shadow, very basic. To create this, all I did was get a straight feathered black brush, uh, enlarge it a little bit, then go to my brush panel, roundness, get the angle to zero, and roundness, just put it down to, you know, between zero and ten ish. And then I just did this, click it once, and you'll get kind of that oval shape instead of. The circle and you can kind of line it up um, you can use distort to flatten it a little bit uh, perspective to also bring it up from the sides and basically just adjust it to fit and then since there's two you would you know what I mean put two on there that's a really rough explanation but that's how I went about doing that um, this is just the main mask and the skin so this is the picture and then these are some skinning and stuff I did I'll show you all how I went about doing that I uh, put a really subtle skin on there, nothing crazy. So just filter, topaz, adjust, um, vivacious, finishing touches, transparency, and just kind of I set it to whatever looked good to me, just to help pop a little bit. And then psychedelic, and around 85 or so. But yeah, pretty simple. That's probably a little too harsh, but you can just turn on the opacity and the fill, and um, like so. This kind of gives it a little bit texture, makes it pop a little bit. Um, yeah, so nothing too intense. Throw a little camera raw in there to dumb it down, which to do that, all you have to do is uh, go to filter, camera raw filter, and you'll get a bunch of uh, things you can play with, like exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, blacks, texture, and clarity. Um, clarity is also good to help kind of make it pop a little bit. Um, but all I really did in here was dumb it down and play with this stuff until I got something I liked. So uh, that's that. I use a little selective color layer to uh, adjust the colors to my liking. This is just right here. You click selective color 
and then you want a bit of clipping mask so it only applies to the picture of cam and you can kind of get the reds you want um yellows you can play with all these colors and they all kind of come out so you can get the you know the blue tint you want the the skin tone you want this and that uh the lights darks it's super clutch tool if you don't use it you got to it really helps you get the colors that you're wanting so um that's that and then some cc i put some really simple color correction um just some gradient map so black it's just a black and white gradient here and then on whatever the name of the layer is is the blend mode it's on so color dodge brings out some lights multiply brings out some darks and overlay just to kind of bring out both so all i did was uh put it on those and then use a layer mask so I'll do control I uh, to flip it and then get a regular soft feathered brush, which means that it's uh, hardness is on zero. And then I just get a white brush and brush it in using the layer mask. And so you can kind of get it to show up where you want to. So that's what this stuff is. Um, same thing for curves. All I did was get a curve layer, which is here in your adjustment uh, panel. Then you can go up for the lights and then down for the darks color lookups uh crisp warm so this is here and the color lookups in your adjustment panel just kind of go through these um and you know get ones that you like play with them play with blend modes too opacity and uh and the clipping mask too so you can kind of show it up or have it appear where you want to so uh that's that and then i threw another selective color and vibrance layer on it so this one was pretty strong and then vibrance is here this helps you bring out some colors so you can pump it this way saturation whatever uh, as so you can kind of get what you want these are my settings negative 50 plus 100 and that's that threw a little grain on there all i did was get a black layer filter noise add noise up it a little bit and you can kind of see the subtle grain threw it on screen and lower the opacity to get that little grainy bit you can see is also on theirs as well um so yeah, I mean, that's it. Uh, <laughs> I hope I broke that down good enough for y'all. Uh, you got any questions, leave them down below. I think it's a pretty simple PSD. If you, this is a series you want me to kind of continue doing with some other teams and stuff, let me know. Uh, I'd be happy to do so because I am so clueless when it comes to video ideas. But um, as I've said before, the link to this PSD will be in the description so you can play with it yourself. And uh, yeah, hit me on socials or comment below if y'all need anything. And uh, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Peace out.